my Tauruses, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie. It's been a couple of weeks. Sorry about that. I talk a little bit about it in the overview. Uh, a line is drawn in the sand. I feel very much that you are connected with that reading, so I would take a peek at it if you would. Remember that these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I know there's some worries about money. I know there's worries about just all the changes, but I see my Tauruses as like putting down, you know, stomp, stomping down, putting, you know, putting their foot down and saying enough is enough. Now we do have a full moon on the 18th. It is in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. You are my psychic ones, so you want to make sure, and we are also coming to that equinox. So um, just... Things might feel all up and down with you, but I, like I said, there is, you're like, enough is enough. You know, I am tired of the uncertainty. I am tired of, you know, kind of like being that feather in the wind. Enough is enough, putting your foot down. And Tauruses, I feel like you can really manifest something big, if not just for this week, going forward, okay? So let's see what we have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. You gave me that vision of Taurus is just, I mean, combat boot type of enough is enough. And here we go. Let's see. What do we have here? Higher power. You're putting them on their on a good path. You're making, you know, there's they are they're to make changes. Tauruses are to make changes. And you're to make changes for your loved ones and for the people that have been around you too. Okay, let's go on. First card is reversed, reversed, not reversed. <laughs> okay, here we are. Whoever that might mean, did I tell you? You know, like I said, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. A little bit more energy, a little more message is the six of air. You are, you are coming out of a funk. You are coming into the light. Things are shifting for you. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you do. So it's, it's all the stuff that you've been working towards. It's going to pay off, okay? Air energy is our Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Remember, we do have um, Jupiter in Gemini, which is good. We do have that south node in Libra, which is trying to clean up some big, big messes. And of course, you know, we talk about Pluto Right now it's in Capricorn where there's going to be a lot of completion to endings. There's going to be a lot of decisions, a lot of new directions, or a lot of this is where I'm going to go. But then it will go back into Aquarius. But that'll be November 19th, okay? So it is your thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. But this is moving forward, moving on. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Here we go. Next card is the Knight of Air. So when things start to move on, they will happen faster than you even are expecting it to be. You may not even have time to think about your choices, think about your direction. Knights are directional, so when they figure out a direction, they go there. Underlying energy is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. But you've got this air energy again, too. So things are pushing you. Things are going. This is like, I've got to do this. I've got to really figure, you know, you want to figure it out. You want to get to this point where it's like, okay, I, I, I see my direction. I see my light. But it just happens so fast. It's going to be kind of like, um, you know, you're, it, it's like, you know, what, I, yeah, what is it? Um, fools go in where angels fear to tread. That type of, that type of energy. So pray about it. You know, pray about it. Pray about it, pray about it, pray about it. You know, it It looks like it's the right decision. It looks like it's the right direction. But for my Tauruses, when you like a little bit more stability, this is pushing you forward into the unknown. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. The only thing with the Knight of Air is, you don't always have the time to review your options. So preparation to meet opportunity. Next card is the two of fire. 
So we have a two, choices, decisions, coming together, pathways, fire energy. We talked about that. Passionate, burning, very, very determined. So all of this energy that's churning up, all of this that's really making a lot of people crazy is really going to push you in the direction you need to be in, okay? Because the two of fire is a very positive energy. It's a very, you are where you're supposed to be. You are on your path. You are going where you're supposed to be going, okay? It's, you know, this, this one is the one that's a little bit, um, it's not as easy for you to manage what you would like to do. So, you know, there is a lot of going with this flow here. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. All right. So whatever this week is, it, you know, there, you're going into the light, you're going the right direction. Things are happening where you're going to just have to really just, um, Go by the seat of your pants, go with your instincts, whatever you're going to say, but it is the right path for you, okay? So let's see. Not saying everything's easy, but your work, you're used to hard work too, okay? Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else? What else do you want for your choruses? Oh, two cards. I love it when they flip out. Here we go, two cards. Truth. This is your, the, um, what is this? <laughs> this is 22 choices, decision, zero, God, source, energy. Um, there's a lot of evaluation, reevaluation. This is the judgment card. I try to, you know, remember what it is in the weight rider. This is the judgment card. This is where you weigh your decisions. This is where you look back at your past and say, you know, how am I with where I'm at now? This is where you're ready to, you know, you've come to a, for, a time of completion and you're ready to start spreading your wings. This is major arcana energy. Ah, seven. We have our crown chakra here. Prayer, meditation, connecting with God. God, God bringing you through your path, bringing you to your path. The 20, the truth, the... Um, Judgment card and the seven, you know, being judged, you know, even there's even judgment with God, with source. Uh, you know, we talk about our chakras, chakras, we have them all over. There's, there's so many things with chakras, but there are the seven main chakras that we generally do talk about. The root chakra to the crown, the crown is the metaphysical, the crown is the connection with God, with the connection with source, okay? So there's a lot of prayer needed for you right now. There's a lot of answers to prayers needed right now. At the same time, it says, you know, you really look to see how you've come. Look to, look to see, look back at your past, you know. Uh, we don't want history to repeat itself if it's not in a positive way. Uh, and we want to learn from our mistakes. We want to learn from our, our, um, positive, and our positive choices too. So there's interesting with this. There's a lot of divine, divine covering during this time for you. Okay, let's see what else we might have here. Okay, archangels. I'm sorry, angels of abundance. Let's see here. What else for my Tauruses? What else for Tauruses? Here we go. Yeah, you're putting your foot down. You're, you know, again, I that you're you're like the drawing of the sand too. So here we go. We do have Uranus doing something. I can't remember what it is. Reversed. All right, my Tauruses, remember to hold on to positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectation and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going all right there's a lot of faith with this uh crown chakra needed also so here we go let's see what crystal mantra might be good or would be good for this time okay that one popped hematite i don't have my hematite bracelet but hematite is your mind on overdrive are you feeling physically hyperactive have you been sleeping well it's important to be more grounded. Imagine roots growing through the soles of your feet into the earth. Allow disquieting thoughts and excess energy to drain away. When I'm getting some of that ego energy and those um, intrusive thoughts, I say, move on, move on. 
Angel of Inner Peace and Grounding I am calm and peaceful. All is well and life is good. My roots absorb goodness from the all-giving earth, which fills me up and brings me serenity. I am love, and all that surrounds me is love. I do like hematite. So now remember, balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Let's see what else we might have here from our for our Tauruses. For our Tauruses. Let's see. For our Tauruses, what do we have here? My Tauruses. Okay, here we are. Reversed. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. So, whatever's going on with that preparation to meet opportunity, what they say that definition of luck, luck is on your side. Stay positive. Good stuff for you. Good stuff. It's, you know, again, like, I, you know, that's that line in the sand. You're taking us, you know, you're putting your foot down. All is well. Anyway, my Tauruses, do me the favor, please, by going down, liking, sharing, subscri subscribing, you know, so that, you know, my videos do get seen. It does help. Thank you. Most important part, though, and this is the truism of it all, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.